now and scroll over here to uh, this last part of the file, which is the part where you make the figures. So um, what I've done with this Excel file, this Excel spreadsheet automatically takes the average values from your graph and sticks them over here, which is nice, it makes it a little bit easier. So um, all you need to do to make your graph is select all of this stuff. Uh, you're going to go up to insert or charts, depending on whether you're using Mac or PC. And you're going to want to pick a scatter chart with um, smooth marked scatter. All right, so this, this option right here. And you should see something like this. Um, Mine automatically includes a title. Uh, for this, we're going to add the title in the Word document, so we don't need that. Um, mine also includes this legend automatically, but since we only have one set of data, we're only looking at catalase enzyme, um, we don't need that either. And what we're left with is, is this really nice uh, scatter plot of your averages connected by a smooth line. Um, we can get rid of the horizontal bars by clicking on them and clicking delete or backspace. The other thing we want to do just, just to make the data as well represented as possible is to adjust the axis here so that it's starting closer to our um, minimum value. So I'm going to go up to chart layout and I'm going to choose axes and we want to modify the vertical axis. So uh, scroll down to axis options, select axis options, and we're going to make the minimum instead of zero, we're going to make it 0 0.1. Okay, so you see how it changed there. I'm going to click OK, which is great. Um, next we want to add in some axis titles, so horizontal title below the axis, vertical title rotated to the left of the axis, and um, we, can, we can put in our, our values here, our titles from the table, right into these areas. So what I'm going to do is, um, whoops, I'm actually going to double click into this box select this uh, this title temperature degrees Celsius copy it and just paste it whoops into this box here so I'll select everything and just paste it in there we go so what we're looking at on this axis is the temperature and degrees Celsius on this side um, it's measuring the average catalase reaction rate um, and rates are always one over seconds, um, which you'll, if you didn't learn in chemistry, you'll definitely learn in physics. So we're looking at the rate um, at which this enzyme catalyzes the reaction. Copy that and paste it into this little box here. Select all these words, which is a little tricky, and paste. There we go. All right. So now I have my axes titled. I have um, the axis, the y-axis adjusted to be more in line with my data. Um, the only thing I need to add in here are the standard deviation bars. So um, the standard deviation, remember, is, is in our table. And to create error bars, you just need to click on one of the data points and it will select all of them. And then um, you'll go up here to the chart layout area again, but this time choose error bars. You want more error bar options. You're gonna select custom and specify value. And it'll give you this little custom error bars um, box. Then you need to scroll over to your table here and um, we want the standard devi deviation values to be represented by a, a arrow above the average and an arrow below the average. So we're going to put the same thing in, in both boxes. So I'm going to click on this to tell it I'm selecting my data for standard deviation. 
and then click on the negative error value button and again select the same standard deviation data. Then I click OK and OK and now I've got my um, standard error bars in here. Um, one of the things we do see now that we've got the standard error bars is that maybe our choice of where to start the axis um, wasn't the best. So just because I, I do want to represent my data as well as possible, I'm going to go back and adjust that. You can see that the error bars actually extend below the x-axis now. So I'll go, I'll click on my graph, go up to chart layout, and again I can play with these axes here. Um, so maybe I'll make the minimum instead of 0 0.1, let's try 0 0.05. How does that look? Oh, okay, so much better. So now you can see the full standard deviation bars, which is, which is great. All right, so at this point, um, this, this, this graph is definitely ex acceptable and will receive full credit. Um, so you can copy paste it into your Word file again. So the way to do that is um, make sure that you've clicked the graph so that the border is highlighted there and then you'll copy it, go back to your, your Word file, and you're gonna paste it into that Word file, and underneath uh, the graph, you'll write, you'll type figure one, and this is gonna be the caption where you'll add in a title later um, when you're finishing up uh, the paper. So, although this is perfectly acceptable, um, it isn't quite up to scientific writing standards. So if you'd like to push it,